Hey everybody, Matt here from Matt's Trains and Tractors. It's currently December 1st when I'm recording this. The holidays are right around the corner and I couldn't be more excited to share with you guys my purchase plans for the 2020 holiday season and 2021 year. So when I say purchase plans, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm currently in my train room here in the layout downstairs in my basement and I'm always looking forward to picking up some new locomotives and rolling stock, not only from Lionel, but also from MTH. Disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Lionel or MTH. I just have a big hobby for model railroading, and those are my two main uh, hobby manufacturers that I get my rolling stock and locomotives from. There are a few locomotives that I want to pick up from Lionel in the 2020 holiday season and in the 2021 year. So let's dive right in and then I'll share some rolling stock that I want to pick up from not just Lionel but also MTH as well. Let's talk about locomotives. As some of you may know from past live streams or on my Instagram, I'm a big fan of local trains. If you don't know what a local train is, it's basically a small train that has mixed freight on it and it travels along the main line and this is in real life, not just on the model railroad. It travels along the main line and it services stations and whether it's grain plants, chemical plants, or other local manufacturers on the main line. And there's sidings and it can service them and get new tanker cars or get new hoppers and it continues all along the line. And I really like the idea of that, but not that I have a lot of shops and buildings here, I just like the idea of a local train. I have never simulated locals on my layout before, so the engine that I would like to pick up to service locals, I really want to pick it up this holiday season in the 2020 year, hopefully for Christmas. I do celebrate Christmas, it's my absolutely favorite holiday. So that locomotive would be the Norfolk Southern or a Lionel Norfolk Southern SD38. This locomotive is offered in their 2019 Volume 2 catalog, um, my favorite catalog. But let's talk about the SD38s. The SD38s, really, they look like a local train. Most locals today are serviced by GP38-2. If you've seen some Norfolk Southern locals, such as MA-01, that's a Conrail Shared Assets operation, but those are serviced by a Norfolk Southern GP38-2 or some CSX locomotives. The reason why I'd like to pick it up in Norfolk Southern paint rather than the CSX YN2 paint, which is really cool, but I think the Norfolk Southern paint would look best on my layout. I have a Norfolk Southern Gen Set switcher down here. Um, got this a couple years ago. It's out of frame right now, but it's an absolutely gorgeous engine. It is Vision Line, and the Norfolk Southern paint looks absolutely fantastic on it. Lionel did a great job with all the detailing, the high quality, and the paint job. Just looks great. So I thought, why not add another Norfolk Southern locomotive to the fleet? But let's talk about steamers real quick. So this is also in the Volume 2 catalog from 2019 offered by Lionel. This would have to, uh, a steam engine, a steam engine that I really am liking. It doesn't have a unique paint job at all. It's, it's very standard. Um, it's a 484 and it's the Rock Island steam engine right there. I, I will try to give you better pictures of this, but last time I tried screenshotting on my computer, they came out very blurry. So this is the best I can do, but the Rock Island paint sure does look very solid there. I'm sorry if the camera's not focusing. I'll do my best to fix that. I'm getting a phone call, hold on. So why the Rock Island? Well, my father has a Rock Island set from when he was a kid, and I also think that it's the sharpest, you know, like it, it looks really good. It's the sharpest looking 484 that they're offering in the Volume 2 catalog from 2019. So, hope you guys can see that. One last focus, come on. Here we go. All right, that one right there in the middle. Alrighty, that about wraps it up for the 2019 Volume 2 catalog offered by Lionel. Let's move on to the 2020 catalogs. So starting with the Volume 1, this is the big book. Let's move on to Rolling Stock for now. Uh, they offered a lot of Vision Line stuff here. The Volume 1 catalog from 2020 offered by Lionel. They had 40 pages, almost 40 pages worth of uh, Vision Steamers in the GS series. So. If you're familiar with Southern Pacific, you're definitely familiar with the GS2s and GS4s. I have a Southern Pacific Daylight number 4410. You've probably seen that in some of my live streams. But talking about Vision Line uh, rolling stock, you guys know me, I'm a big fan of sound cars. I really like sound cars. And these look like they have a lot of detail. So um, these three packs here are Vision Line sound cars. 
and each three pack comes with one sound car. So you may be thinking, why not all three? Well, if all three cars in the pack were to come with sounds, then if you were to all roll them along the consist, all one by one, in order with each other, it would just sound off and the sounds really wouldn't sound good. And the whole thing with sound cars is to space them out about four to five cars apart from either the engine or the other sound car along the consist. So I think these are great. These are definitely added to the entire wish list um, for rolling stock. And if I were to get a certain um, road name, it would have to be the ATSF, the Adjutson Topeka Santa Fe. Yeah, they do go for a high price of $400, um, but I'm hoping they're worth it. There's one, look at that, come on, focus. I think it focused, it's those guys right there. And the final thing from the volume one catalog, the big book from 2020 offered by Lionel would have to be their um, rotary gondolas or their coal cars. So I think I'm gonna put both of these on that wish list for the whole rolling stock collection wish list, but I'd have to go with the Norfolk Southern ones considering that I'm wishing for a uh, SD38. So those ones at the bottom are super neat. And the coal load is a uh, plastic coal load that can be removed so you can simulate running empties and full loads. That's really neat. But anyways, those are gondolas. Those come in two packs. And then they have the four packs of rotary gondolas in a Norfolk Southern paint scheme as well. So I think I'll just go with the four packs here and it looks like they are in a little different paint scheme here so why get two different ones those are right there in the middle where my finger is norfolk southern hopefully the camera will focus for you so yeah four pack really looking neat and uh, i look forward to hopefully getting one in the near future Alrighty, so the final thing that i really am hoping for it's from 2020 it's from their volume 2 catalog i gotta say it's, it's a steam engine. They're pretty cool. Uh, they look very similar to the J-Class 484s. And look, they don't look very similar. I say that. But when you give it a look, I mean, it's got that streamlined look to it. They are indeed the Legacy S1s, the 644-6s. This is one of my few times actually reading the name. I usually just glance through the catalog and see what I like. Um, looks like they do come with whistle steam, which is nice. But a better look at that for you guys. So it's got six wheels up front, four wheels, uh, four wheels here on the driving set, and four wheels here on the other driving set, and then six wheels here at the trailing trucks. And then it's got a nice tender. And I gotta say the tenders look great. There's two different road names, four different schemes. So American Railroad, which is at the top, and then the following three are on the Pennsylvania scheme. I would honestly have to go with. Um, the bottom pensy. It, some people may say it's ugly, but I really like that orange slash maroon and crimson color right there I, at the bottom. I think that's really nice. And over here it says two interchangeable nameplates on all three Pennsylvania Railroad schemes. So I imagine, oh, it looks like something comes off the front so you can change something out. I'm not exactly sure. But these look very neat. They oh wow, it comes with safety valve steam, so it's not whistle steam. Safety valve steam is basically pop off smoke. It's the pop off smoke effect. For those of you who are familiar with the Vision Line Niagara, I have one in my collection. It's down here. It does have the pop off steam effect, also known as the safety valve smoke effect, and that is really neat. And it goes on occasionally to simulate the release of steam pressure in the chamber, so the boiler doesn't blow up. At least I imagine. So it's for the boiler doesn't blow up. Alrighty, so overall I have basically three catalogs worth of uh, items that I'm wishing for and lineup products that I'm wishing for. Are there MTH products that I'm wishing for? For sure, MTH makes great box cars. And I know I mentioned a smoking reefer car here. Uh, I still want that, but MTH just makes great generic box cars. You know, nothing special. Just a straight up box car, and I honestly um, 
really like the way they do their box cars. Their uh, Rail King box cars, really nice. They just look great. They look very realistic, and I hope to pick up a few of those. So that's what's on the MTH wish list. Now, Eric's Trains recently did a review of some Atlas oil cars. Those things look awesome, and honestly, I'd really like to get my hands on one of those and to bring that into my collection. He says that those are the best oil cars and oil tank cars in O-Gage in the whole hobby, hands down. So I, I really look forward to those. I hope to get my hands on one of them and hopefully bring those into the collection. So that's what's on the Atlas wish list. So we got Lionel, got plenty of locomotives and rolling stock that I, I don't plan on getting this stuff all immediately. You guys ask me, how do I get all this stuff? This is from years of collection. I don't just snap my fingers and the stuff magically appears. This is from lots of collecting over the years and also lots of hand-me-downs, as they say, um, because my brother used to be into model railroading as well. So he and my father had a pretty decent sized layout and collected a good amount of stuff. You guys, from my live streams, you've definitely seen the Y6B, the Norfolk Western 2200, the Y6B, that's his. Like I said, I don't expect all of this rolling stock and all of these engines to appear magically. This will take definitely years of collecting, and I'm excited for that journey. We recently hit 300 subscribers. It's been an absolutely amazing journey from February all the way up until the end of November. It's currently December 1st when I'm filming this. So to keep the journey going, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it or dislike it if you didn't enjoy it. And I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. I'm Matt from Matt's Transit Trackers. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Be safe. And just stay tuned for lots of model railroading content. See you guys next time. He says that those are the best O-scale 